future faking is when a person lies to you about something they're going to do in the future, as one example, and then never does that thing. So they tell you about a possible future, a possible plan, a possible way they're going to be with you, what they're going to do with you. And then they never actually follow through with that thing. Could be anything from like, I'll text you later, I'll call you later, and then you get ghosted. Or you know what, let's go on this fabulous vacation or let's go do this thing. And then you never go anywhere or something like even as extreme as will you marry me and then backing out on the wedding and discarding you. It's a promise of happily ever after. What are they doing? Why are they doing it? They are stringing you along in order to keep you there in order to keep you interested, in order to control the situation so that you believe they are something that they're not. Why do they do that? They need your supply. They need you to stay in the belief of what you think they are and get away with not having to be really true and real in a relationship because they can't be. They can't make promises and keep them because they had no intention of keeping them in the first place. They're baiting you with promises and hope and excitement and thrilling things and nice things and all of that in order to keep you, in order to control you. How do they effectively know how to get you? How do they know how to, what to do in order to use future faking in an effective way for you personally. So what they do is they're mirroring you, right? In the beginning and actually through the whole thing, they're mirroring you to find out who you are, to get to know your personality. They're getting to know your identity, your needs, your wants, your desires, your hopes. And they're mirroring it back to you as if they are the same thing. They're creating the ultimate future fake, which is that you're soulmates, that you are meant to be together, that you really get along, that you have all these things in common. So then they can take all that information that they've gotten and they can use it against you. They can use it to manipulate you. They can use it to future fake you. When they are learning about your hopes and your desires and your wants and your wishes and all of that for life, they're also learning your vulnerabilities that go along with those. You know what I mean? So they are learning that each thing that you have that you want and desire and hope for has an insecurity and a vulnerability attached to it. Once they find that, they can use it to future fake you. And why do they do that? Because it gets you hooked. It makes you believe you're the, they're your savior. It makes you believe they're the one that can provide this for you. They're the one that that is your partner, is your Um, your means to having this desire or hope or wish fulfilled. They are speaking to your heart, to your wishes, to your dreams, your hopes when they're future faking you. They know what they're doing when they do it because they have mirrored you and they have learned about you enough to know what it is to give you. That's why when they have new supply, they can do it differently. Or they can take the things they learn from you, try it on someone else, and they can be lazy and not have to go through the mirroring process with the new person. So so like sometimes you'll have these really interesting things thrown at you by a narcissistic person and you're like, wow, they're really creative. Look at all these amazing, fun things they think of uh, to do that they never actually do. Or sometimes they do, but they do it and then, then they destroy it at the same time. And really what that is, is it's probably some old supplies, hopes, dreams, wishes, and desires that they mirrored and learned about. So now they're trying on other people because they're lazy and they know it works. It feels to you like attentiveness, like someone's paying attention to your wants and dreams, right? Because they're offering you the things you want. So here's the thing though. It isn't going to manifest. They're not going to give you what you want. They may give you pieces of it, but they're not going to give you the whole thing. They may promise you trips and then never take them with you or never take them with you and then disappear and you wonder where they went and they're off with new supply or a different supply on those same trips that they promised you. They will often offer things like to marry you and, you know, let's get a house, let's get married and do the whole um, living as a married couple thing and then discard you after years and years of back and forth because they know that's what you want. They know you want to be married, to have a family, whatever it is. They will 
t- string you along for years and years, never give you that thing, giving you all kinds of discards in between so that it seems like it is your fault why they won't marry you. Then they take off and then within months they marry the new supply. This happens over and over again. It's no fun to experience, but this is a narcissistic tactic. It is an obvious tactic of a toxic person. Basically, if it's playing into your vulnerabilities, and this is a big one, it is ensuring a future. Future faking, you don't feel it as faking at the time, you feel it as building a future with this person. And if you are a person with any abandonment issues in your life or any fears of abandonment or any thing like that, you're going to be especially susceptible to this because you're going to want to hang on to those offerings of a future, to those dreams and hopes that they are putting right in front of you as something that they are claiming is real. And that's dangerous for you because you already have the fear of abandonment going on, right? And then it hurts extra bad when it happens. Future faking creates cognitive dissonance in the survivor. It's confusing. It's messing with your feelings. It's toying with your hopes, desires, and dreams. And it leaves you feeling often like you're the one that did something wrong to make the thing not happen, to make the future plans not happen. But if you watch, you will see they have been doing this in small ways all along. They, It's a pattern with them. Why? Why do they do this? Let's figure it out. Okay. So they're doing this to manipulate you. They're doing this to control the situation. They're doing this to make sure you stay with them so that they get your supply, so that they get your attention, okay? Do they even believe in the future that they're promising you? I think sometimes, yes. I think they get caught up in their own delusional drama that they're playing out in their heads that they want this thing too, or that they um, will, will... also desire this thing that you're wanting. But the truth is, I think at the same time, it's no. I think they know they won't follow through. I think there is a knowing that they can say things and not have to follow through and there's no accountability because they don't take any. Does that make sense? So it's a yes and a no, just like most things with do they understand or know what they're doing. When you're getting excited about the thing that they're presenting to you, about this fake future that they're offering you, it is fueling their ego and it is feeding them supply. And that's what they're after. Okay, that's one thing they're after. As I said before, it's keeping you with them because of a promise of a future. Here's another reason they might use it. So say say that you are upset with them about something. You are talking to them and trying to get them to understand something and see something that they're doing that's upsetting you. They'll use it as a distraction. They will bait you into not being upset with them by offering something else. It's like bait and switch, right? That's some sometimes why they're doing the future faking. They're controlling you to stay with them by manipulating your feelings in the moment, by making you feel really good and really excited about something. It gives you hope for something that is false. And as always, they're misleading you and guiding you into a relationship with them based on lies, based on the untruths, based on their false narrative that is designed to support the delusion of who they need you to believe they are. So that's a little bit about future faking. I'm Lise Colucci, one of the life coaches over at queenbeing.com. Check out the information in every video's description. There's links to contact me if you need it. There's links to coaching and to group coaching. So if you need any help, you can hit me up and let me know what you need and we'll talk it through. If you've not hit subscribe, do so. Do the thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.